Yeah, so we, uh, Malay, who's the producer and, and the co-writer on almost all the songs in the album, he, uh, he worked so hard on this album. And it was great to have somebody on our side that would work as hard as we would on an album. This is our third album. Everything we've done before, we've done basically on our own. And uh, one night, he stayed up till 3 a.m. listening to every song. And I think we had almost every song written and recorded. And the next day, he pulls me aside when we're at the studio. He's like, man, I think we're missing one song. And I know this is a lot to ask you, but I, in my dreams, you would write a song for Amanda and call it Amanda. And I was like, man, that's a lot of pressure. I don't know if I'm going to really do that. But then it was just, it was stuck with me. And every time I'd see her as we're writing another song or working on stuff in the studio, I was like, I got to write her a song. So I, I upped the ante, and we wrote and recorded it without telling her. And so we had a party at the studio. We brought all our dear friends in to hear the album for the first time. And in the middle of the listening, this song starts, and I'm so stoked. Because here's the song, Amanda. There's a line in it, you're raising babies, chasing dreams. What's, the, what's a word greater than love? I loved you since 23. What's the feeling I have now? The only word for it is Amanda. So I'm, you know, I'm about to cry now. Just so in, so engaged, so ready for hear, her to hear the song. The song starts. She's like, hey, this isn't us. I was like, no, it is. Just listen. Babe, this isn't, babe, this is the wrong song. <laughs> babe, this is the wrong, she's yelling at me. I'm like, can you just. Kind of ruin the moment just a little bit, can you just, fine. Can you be quiet and listen to the song? <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, we uh, we wrote it and recorded it as a surprise for Amanda, and it's uh, and it was the first time I'd written a song without her in years, so that was nerve wracking. That's really funny. You're almost coming from like an A and R perspective, like I don't know how this works with the record. Well, I liked it, but I was like, this is not one of ours. I don't remember because you know we wrote and recorded a bunch of songs that didn't end up on the album too. So I was like, is this one of those that we started and we just never finished? But I, it doesn't sound familiar. But then once I realized what it was, I just I wept. Right. And I took a shot of tequila and gave him a high five. There you go. So made a good choice. Yeah. Marriage choice. Super, you know, good. high fives are very intimate. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> 